Hey everybody, it's Cynthia Maynard from CynthiaMaynard.com and I hope you're doing well today. I have a Dollar Tree haul, a couple different stores on a couple different days, and so I was going to go ahead and show that to you. Canvasy-ish, and I really liked this creamy blush color. I thought maybe I could do some painting on that and make it uh, my own. So for groceries, you could use this for toting craft supplies or music or whatever, and the bottom kind of opens up there to give you more room and it's got that pocket so I thought that was a pretty good deal they had other colors as well um, but I went ahead and got two of this color um, got some bags zipper freezer bags um, to have handy fun to see these pop chips um, pop corners um, they have some new packaging um, and they had them for a dollar there so we like these as a family we eat, try to eat mostly gluten free and they're non-gmo which I like and and they taste good so um, so we got cheddar and carnival kettle a fun find um, thinking of my son they had neckties there and I have not opened them up yet and obviously they're they're not going to be uh, the, the neckties we normally like to buy for my husband but um, but anyway I thought they were kind of cool for um, you know for a son or someone who doesn't dress up that much like a black with a purple and silver navy of course I'm already going to give it a haircut but um, yeah I thought that was pretty cool so I got that one I got this neutrally color and I got this black with silver polka dots so that's something that I've not seen at the uh, Dollar Tree before but some of these uh, clasp envelopes to put in junk journals and art journals I got some of these heart shaped doilies and I got the white that way I could either leave them white or spray them any color I like they do say love in the middle but you get a pack of 30 so I thought that was a pretty good deal for a dollar some more quart size freezer bags Got a paint scraper for my mixed media and spreading out my modeling paste for a buck. If you ruin it, no big deal, you can replace it. I got a pack of, uh, well, one pack of two sets of playing cards to alter. Um, I thought it would be fun to alter some um, playing cards anyway. So I had some of these pearl. Um, stickers on there from Jot, and so I went ahead and got some of those. And then I've liked using the other two body shower creams that I've gotten for this. So I went ahead and got the rose scented one. I like the packaging, it looks nice, and uh, they smell good, and it's a pretty good deal. You get 6.8 ounces for a dollar, so uh, shower gels can last you, so it's good to save when you can there. Of these um, bins from Sure Fresh. It says limited edition on there and it says BPA free and it's freezer safe so um, yeah so great for storing a bunch of um, leftover soup or something like that that hopefully the seal is pretty good I can't get it off very easily so that lets me know that it's gonna do a little bit of a good job there got one of these by Surefresh with the vent so if we have leftovers which we don't a lot <laughs> um, <laughs> But uh, when we do, I thought we could heat it up briefly in the microwave and use the little steam vent on there. Smaller round containers in that same design. Got some of these applesauces that are unsweetened. I only buy unsweetened applesauce. I never buy applesauce with added sugar or anything in it because it's fruit and it doesn't need any sugar <laughs> in my opinion but if you like sugar that's fine but we don't uh, eat that so I was glad to find these for a dollar that makes them uh, 25 cents each and it's great for uh, to have on hand and we stir these into our oatmeal I then got two of these bowls I thought they were pretty with the teal and the brown distress uh, and they're a good size for a cereal bowl um, for my kids especially they're kind of getting older now and some of our little kid bowls that we've been using for uh, oatmeal and cereal have are kind of they're kind of getting a little bit 
you know, <laughs> worn. So I went ahead and picked up two of these for them so they could have little cereal bowls. And they're nice sturdy bowls. You could use them for soup, of course. Where in this one that I showed you earlier, do have these bins. You can use these for food, but uh, they're also by SureFresh and they clip on like that. And I sometimes use these for craft items as well. Um, the little bits like little alphabet stamps and things like that that are a little loosey-goosey and it's nice to put them in there. I don't like them for inking, <laughs> which I, I've mentioned that in a video before about how to make good uh, inkers to um, sort of distress edges and things. But um, just because they have that coating on there and it doesn't make a good job for that. But it does make a good job for pouncing acrylic paint on to things and kind of giving that model look. So I did get one for those and I cut them into quarters and then I have four to use. Cocoa dusted truffles in peppermint so I thought we'd give those a try. And then I got this little puzzle in this tin. It's like an Altoid tin and I mostly got it for the tin, uh, not so for the puzzle. I'll let my daughter do the puzzle. And then I'm just going to alter the tin and make a little mini album come out of there. I had to find these stencils people were hauling. I'm interested to try these, the self-adhesive. Uh, I don't really care about the adhesive part of it, but uh, the stencils have these swirly dots and this floral and then this one with the border with the individual flowers. So I love stencils. They're great for obviously mixed media and art. So uh, it's glad to see those. Along that line, I also got these uh, floral stickers. I thought these are really pretty and they have like the gemmy middles there and you get six of those and they're by Jot. The uh, St. Patrick's Day stuff was out <laughs> and so I went ahead and got some of these gold foil St. Patrick's Day stickers. These are mechanical pencils and I thought these were really cool, very watercolory looking and trendy and so I went ahead and got those. You get five in a pack so those are great for me and the kids for school. These are rub on, wipe off uh, decals and you get two sticker sheets. Um, with these little, uh, it's almost like a dry erase board sort of um, idea there. So those are pretty cute. So got some of this linen cardstock that they had. I'm curious to try that out. It's by Craft Sensations and uh, it is very textured so it wouldn't be good for every single thing that I like to do but it has sort of a pearlescent vibe to it as well and you get 12 sheets of that and it's cut to a 5x7. Of course you can cut that to whatever you'd like but got some more of those at the second store. More of those flowers. Then, I don't know if it's I haven't noticed this, and if it's the same brand as graphics that I get chipboard from, then I'm going to be pretty happy with these. Um, these are the watercolor pad. Um, you get 15 sheets in it. It's 96 pounds. Um, 5 by 7 little pad here. So great for quick little watercolor cards. I also got one for pastels. They did have some for oil as well. These from Jot, these big circly, they're very textured and almost um, very, um, almost like a, I don't know, it's hard to describe. It's, it's very, if you can hear that, um, it's very hard. Um, plasticky, almost like a folder cover material. And so I thought that would be interesting to play with. I got that in the dots, the flowers, and then the butterflies. So not seen those before. Good morning. It's very, very tiny. Uh, I got um, some jam <laughs> that I really like there and it's a good price. It's a lot cheaper than my local store carries it for and it's very, very tasty. So I like the strawberries so I went ahead and got the peach preserves. So um, yeah, I got those. And let's see, I got some Prima flowers for $1.99. Prima from the Engraver series. I got some Heidi Swap things here for $1.49, which is probably a little pricey um, for her memory planner. But these are like enamel y puffy hearts, and you get these cool stripes and these florals, and love it, and the polka dot. So I liked that. 
I also got um, these emoji, a uh, gold foil emoji stickers, which are super cute. Thumbs up down here, and lips and things, and cameras, and of course all the little different faces, and guys and girls. So I thought that was cute. You get 37 uh, little stickers there. And then they, she had the uh, glimmer sprays for $4.99. You get them in butter hot pink and peacock. I do have a navy one that I use from her that I had gotten a lot uh, almost a year ago now and uh, I've liked that. So these are a little bit smaller but um, but yeah, they're the Glimmer Mist uh, Color Shine Happy set. And then lastly I got two of the uh, Smashbook um, is that what it's called? Smash Can Company Smash these little perforated papers you can tear out, advice to my future self, and um, all these different little things you could use in journals and your planner and whatnot. And then the other one I got was this floral one here. But it's not very flowery. <laughs> Why is it called floral? Oh, special occasions. Okay, I don't know. I just saw the flower and it's the only one. <laughs> but anyway, these are cute little things to tuck in little pockets and things. So that was it. That's my Dollar Tree and Tuesday morning haul. Thanks guys so much for your time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. That helps support this channel and the work that I do here. Thank you so much for your time, guys. Have a great day.